wide receiver. So we got T. Higgins, franchise tag by the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, Michael Pittman Jr. Trade. resigned uh, by the Colts. Good signing. Good My, receiver. If this is based off, I'm, I'm surprised. I mean, but Michael Pittman does his thing, but he's above Mike Evans. The only reason I say that. So Mike Evans resigned with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, two years, forty-one million, uh, and then Marquise Brown, two years, is, forty-one. That's why uh, it was oh, forty-one. That, that I don't Mike know what Evans? I said. My bad. No, no, no. I'm asking. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Um, so Marquise Brown is the next wide receiver listed, not signed. Calvin Ridley, not signed. Ooh. Uh, Calvin Ridley not signed. Keep Hello. Going, what the fuck are we even talking about? Let's see what the Dolphins are going to do. Uh, Darnell Mooney, uh, Atlanta Falcons, All three short. years, thirty nine mil. Uh, <laughs> we need, we need well, some well, but he signed with the Falcons, uh, three years, thirty nine mil. So he's actually ranked below as far as Ooh. PFF, uh, below Calvin Ridley. So that's not to say that Calvin Ridley's on Mackley going to get paid more than him. Oh, he has to. I, I, I think Calvin really should get around. If if Evans is twenty one, really should be at least eighteen. Uh, so Evans is 21. Why are you saying that? Two years, 41. Oh, okay. So yeah, he's like four to 20 point. Yeah. So I mean, um, yeah, maybe, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure teams are going to try to run down that value based off like reliability injury, um, yeah, him not really proving it with his prove it year all that much. I want to see what his stats were real quick. I am curious on Calvin Ridley stats after coming back. Do you think there's a competition in Jacksonville? I, for me personally, I would love if Calvin really could be a Miami Dolphin. I would love that, brother. That would be amazing. So yeah, he's right. Listen, I just want yeah, to go a six one or taller. You know, yeah, he's a monster though. So uh, I would be fine with that. Really but like let's six, see. Like, so he did have a thousand yard season this yeah, year. I'm surprised by that. Seventy six receiving yards, one thousand and sixteen yards. So just over. What, what's your yards per catch? If they didn't have that extra game, by the way, it wouldn't have wouldn't have happened. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Yards per catch, they don't have that on no. here. This is just Wikipedia. Sorry. To be honest. So, um, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I, I, I kind of want to just trade for just like Josh Reynolds. I want like a six two, six three slot. Okay, mm. bring in some size. We got the smallest wide receiver room in the NFL right now. Do you think Michael Thomas gets a job? Oh, he has to. Okay. He has I, to, I didn't right? know he had to. To be honest, right. well, who? Why not? <laughs> Uh, why not injuries? Yeah, people and just fucking reliability. Once again, Josh Reynolds is available, by the way. He is available. Yeah, he's a free agent. Um, Bring him in Miami. So yeah, yeah, with my with Michael Thomas though, it's just like he's been he only played this year, uh, right? This is his first year back, or he might have came back at the end of last year or whatever. But yeah, dude had two fucking years off, was wilding out, fucking, and then. It was like, hey, I'm coming back. I'm not coming back. He's just punching teammates. He just has a horrible fucking reputation. So he's like a T.O., uh, but honestly, probably worse. Um, so it's like once once you're difficult to deal with, well, I'm not going to deal with difficult to deal with and unproductive. That's not I'm not doing that. Yeah, Weird. I'm not dealing with difficult to deal with and fucking three catches for fucking 26 yards. Sorry, <laughs> bro. Like, you know, you could punch teammates when you were going for fucking 160 yards and fucking two touchdowns and shit. But watch it. Yeah, no, fuck no. So, yeah, we can move on past that just so because I, I want to make sure to uh, wrap these up. Tight I want to hold right. Yeah, tight end. Dalton Schultz to the Houston Texans, three years, 36 mil. Hunter Henry back to the Patriots, three years, 27 mil. Noah Fant. Uh, two years, twenty-one mil. So I mean, you know, where, where'd he go? Uh, Noah Fant resigned with the, the Seahawks. Seahawks. Okay, yeah. so, okay. Uh, and then Gerald Everett's the next one. So there's a pretty good drop off there. Uh, Mike Gusecki did go to the Cincinnati Bengals. I think that Ooh, will be a better that's a place good for him. Fit. Yeah, that's I like a good that. fit for him. He's gonna he's gonna yeah. catch a few touchdowns. When people were fucking talking about him going to the Patriots, I was like, who gives a fuck? Dude, that, yeah, yeah, that was not a good yeah. fit. <laughs> <laughs> worst fit. Dude, yeah, yeah, it was I the only fit worse than Miami. Yeah, I don't know what he did. But yeah, John doesn't have to block in Cincinnati. He's not gonna have to block at all. Yeah. So be Mike Gesicki. Yeah, make some make some big plays. Um. So yeah, no offense. I mean, that's interesting. I mean, I, f- I kind of feel like he underproduces. Uh, he does. Yeah, Bro, r- but, real quick. Yeah. Re- remember when Dolphin fans were really upset that we didn't resign Mike Gesicki? Like, how dare we? Like, how dare we let him walk? Yeah, I was so yeah, happy. Like, like again, like not worth the money. As yeah. you can see, again, no. loved him in Miami. He sucked. His talent is no, his talent. I never loved him. But bro, his separation I loved him, is like, the first- awful. I he loved just, him the first or second year. He was somebody I hated on the team. I was like, bro, he's a trash. really he's really good at catching high pointed ball. What the fuck ever? I, I didn't That's see it. it. There was few and far <laughs> in between. Um, 
the one Dolphins player that really broke my heart that I thought was going to be a baller. Because, like I said, Mike is that guy, I never believed it. But Devontae Parker, actually. <laughs> Fucked with Devontae Parker. Heavy. I was like, oh, he's going to be a Not monster. like that draft pick, but Jeez. it's okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't understand You were it. right. I didn't understand right. I really didn't understand it. <laughs> you were right. I was wrong. Like, 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 like you watched that. him in college. He didn't really get separation in college at Louisville. Yeah, but he was awesome. Motherfuckers going over. He was head. great at the contested yeah. catch. But what's that going to happen in the NFL? Is he be good at contested was he, catch? Was Lamar his quarterback? No, he was before Lamar. Before Lamar. All right. Either way. Uh, so offensive tackle Tyron Smith is still out there. Actually, a lot of offensive tackles have not been signed up. Uh, Tyron Smith, uh, Trent Brown, not signed. Uh, Mike on Winu uh re-signed with the New England Patriots oh, for ooh. three years, uh, fifty-seven million. Ooh. Sure. Um, and then Mikari Becton is still available. Jonah Williams is still available. Ooh, pick him up. So yeah, interesting stuff. I like Jonah. Uh, Jonah. It's, I'm it's I'm curious. In the guard. I'm curious why people aren't running to go spend that money. But some I of the no some idea. of these because yeah, the tackles are deep in the draft. Well, and I think some of these tackles are older, so they're probably like like Tyron Smith is like, bro, He's unless old. you like pay me something very nice, um, I'll wait. Um, so centers, Connor Williams is the top center uh, still available. Uh, Andre, and he's the top ranked center in general, by the way. Um, so, and then right underneath that, Andre James, who re signed with the Las Vegas uh, Raiders, and Lloyd Cushenberry, who signed with the Tennessee Titans, and then Aaron Brewer to the Miami Dolphins. So, as Dolphins fans, we talked about this. I mean, I, I'm concerned about the uh, pass rush issues yep. um, and some of the stats I've seen there, but I'm excited about the youth for one. Um, and he is a little bit of a proven commodity, so he's proven enough, I think, to uh, feel comfortable. And, and I will say that, that McDaniel has proven that he can uh, improve the offensive line under t- like under 10 million, so it's three years for 21 million. So uh, oh, seven million. Years. Yeah. So I mean, that's yeah, that's the, that's something that's definitely manageable. Uh, when Cushionberry right above him. Uh, four years for 50 million so over 10 million a year but interestingly enough andre james for under so three years for 24 million hey good job greer interesting hey man greer has um, been doing this job yeah my um, golf fans they listen i'm i know i know we want the world but we can't get the world okay and this is really good i think i think that we're building a really think, competitive team i think we're I think going we to be good win a championship brother yeah which you got to have a competitive yeah. roster that just <clears throat> Your favorite players yeah well i mean the thing is, is say that we don't get gets all the money <laughs> we don't need the world because there's a team that wins the championship every year so somebody has to win it we just yeah. want to be that team one time which which you don't think that that we're that we're building like that uh, we're I mean, moving we that direction but i do think this. yeah but i think that you know at least in my opinion we regressed i don't know did you say was your final answer that we regressed no, i i think overall we're we've gotten better because offense has gotten uh-huh. better and defense really hasn't hasn't gotten that much worse. Like, gotcha. Losing Wilkins a lot, but linebacking play is going to make up for it. And the Poyer's a big signing. So. Gotcha. Um, so guard right here, we got uh, Kevin Dotson re-signed with the Rams. Robert Hunt. So we lost him. Our guard. What, uh, what, what was Dotson's contract? Dotson was three years, forty-eight million. So, damn. Okay. Yeah. So not quite to the level not, of Robert Hunt, <laughs> which is five years for a hundred million. Yeah, not uh, years. Kevin Zeitler, uh, not signed. Dalton Rinser, not signed. For, uh, and then Ezra Cleveland resigned with the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, for under ten million a year. What's his name? Re- Reisner. Uh, yeah. Uh. I don't know. And by the way, Damian Lewis, though, interestingly enough, went to the Panthers. Holy shit. Four years for $53 million. Yeah, they're, so, they're bringing in Yeah, they paid money. him more than what Ezra Cleveland got to stay, and he's ranked ahead of him uh, in Jacksonville. That's interesting. Did we bring back Isaiah Wynn? Uh, you know, I'm, I have. I like them. Yeah. He was all right. I, I have. No I have no expectations, really. I mean, as far as, like, we could do whatever. You know what I mean? I, I think that we have to be very flexible. Like you said, um, it's a transitional period, and. We can't have it all. So it's like, I think I have no, I like the best move imaginable. You know, I don't, I don't know exactly what that is. And it might not involve Isaiah Wynn. It might, it, it very likely may not. Um, interior defensive line. So Chris Jones re signed with the Chiefs five years for 158 million. Uh, Justin Madu Buiki. Um, God bless you, brother. Uh, re-sign, re-sign with the Ravens for four years, ninety-eight million. 
Uh, Christian Wilkins came in above that, signing this with the Raiders crazy. for four years and 110 million. So came came in above. Uh, it does not pay to re-sign with your team. That's what hey, I'm. Christian Wilkins that's is what I'm 28, learning. man. <clears throat> yeah, and then Leonard Williams he re-signed with the Seattle Seahawks, uh, three years for 64 million. Um, Shit. Grover Stewart resigned with the Colts. So yeah, I mean, it, it, interesting moves there. Sign with the Colts. Sucks to lose uh, Christian Wilkins. We already talked about that though, so we don't really need to get too much into that. Uh, the Chris Jones move, Ooh. I think, is good. DJ yeah. Reader, I, what am I bringing DJ Reader in? Yeah, it's still available out there. Um, we gotta see the cap. I don't know what the fuck our cap is. So. Well, I mean, it, I'm sure that's going to be ever changing. That's something they're working on every single day at this point. Um, Solomon Thomas is a free agent. Yeah. So, but I mean, like the Chris Jones move, I like, I personally, I like to see that. Um, it's cool to see when teams, when it, when it aligns, like obviously like with some of these players, we would have liked to have, uh, been uh career long dolphins. Yep. Um, and that's not the case and that's fine, but it's cool Sad. when it does, when it, when it aligns, when you happen to have the money and that's where you, it makes sense to spend it. Uh, and he's a difference maker. He's somebody different from Christian Wilkins, even where, uh, I wouldn't put him necessarily in the class of Aaron Donald. Cause he's kind of in the class of his own, but, uh, like true disruptor, a like game changer on the defensive line. So with along with, um, Many before him. No, but uh, this right here I thought was interesting. Uh, these are 